ओके सो इट्स बीन क्वाइट अ वाइल आई बीन बिजी बट आई एम बैक एंड टू दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ टू लर्न वेब डेवलपमेंट फ्रॉम द वेब बिकॉज वट एल्स इज अ बेटर प्लेस टू लर्न वेब दैन फ्रॉम द वेब पन इंटेड सो या द फर्स्ट आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग द मोस्ट अनोइंग थिंग अबाउट बींग अ वेब डेवलपर इज दैट पीपल थिंक दैट यू बिल्ड वेबसाइट्स बट इन रियलिटी यू बिल्डिंग वेब एप्स एंड यू मे आस्क मी सूरज वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ वेब डेवलपर एंड अ वेबसाइट डेवलपर द डिफरेंस इज ह्यूज वेब डेवलपर्स दे मेक वेब एप्स एंड अ फ्यू पॉपुलर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वेब एप्स नेटफ्लिक्स स्पॉटिफाई फिगमा वाट्सएप डिस्कॉ या डिस्कॉट डिस्कॉट इज अ रियली ह्यूज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ वेब एप एंड यू यू हैव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टाफ लाइक वेन यू हियर द वर्ड वेब एप हियर द वर्ड एप रेट सो एनी थिंग विच फंक्शन लाइक एन एप बट रन ऑन द वेब इज अ वेब एप वाइल अ वेबसाइट इज ऑल द डम अदर स्टाफ लाइक यू नो द स्टूपिड लैंडिंग पेजेस और द स्टूपिड पोर्टफोलियो पेजेस एंड even wikipedia is a website like basic stuff like it's not so exciting we can't really do much except get information in a website so for any more all that let's get in so how do you become a web developer so when you building web apps there two things will be two different things that you'll be working on the front end and then the back end so for front end like obviously you have to know html and css and here's a great course link all of the links to all of the resources which are totally free will be in the description as a blog post cuz i'm just too lazy to retype everything and i already made the blog so yeah so you can on html css from travel c who is amazing is like the first youtuber developer youtuber and then once you're done with that you can make cool websites web, yeah you can only make cool websites with html and css so once you're done with that you will have to be thinking about responsive web design like as in like with different screen sizes like the layout whole changes right so you this like tackling with this is called responsive design so you have to learn about that and the best resource is by kevin powell who is another youtuber and he has this non bingeable crash course Like I say, non-bingeable because he forces it like one one section, one one day. So yeah, that's the only downside. But it's probably gonna be the best thing you do. Like this is like the one resource that if you're gonna follow from this video that you have to follow. That's the responsive layout, conquering with responsive web layout. And then we have JavaScript. So like obviously JavaScript is the foundation for web applications. Like without JavaScript, can't do nothing. no like javascript is actually a super power and i'll be talking about this in a different video later like this so much to talk about it. so but anyways like if you're going to be learning javascript you have to start from the basics and you know the best person at simplifying anything is net ninja so it's a yaz uh, playlist on youtube called modern javascript and even has a course version which only includes extra prof Uh, projects so check that out like i would recommend the udemy course cuz you'll be building projects that help you solidify what you learn that's what i did like uh, a lot of resources will be from net ninja he's like one of the best like he's my go to youtuber to learn anything about the web so yeah check check it out and all of this is free uh yeah that's it and then git Okay, so people think Git is complicated, but in reality, it's just like Google Drive. Like GitHub is like Google Drive, and Git is a faster way to access it. Like when you become a developer, you start living in the terminal. Like that's not important, but it's a way, and many people do it. Like if you become a developer, you will eventually be using it. So yeah, that's Git. But uh, along and to learn Git, there's a really cool video by Web Dev Simplify. His name is Kyle Cook, and he's amazing. Like he's almost as good at simplifying stuff as Net Ninja. Actually, he's even better because he does he does it all short and sweet. While Net Ninja, he takes his time. He makes huge pay, uh, playlists on everything. And after that, it's time to go back into the backend. So backend, when you hear the word backend, you'll be thinking complex stuff. But in reality, you're just building 
an access point for data. Like it's also called an API. So like talking about the APIs is gonna be a really long video and we have time deadlines for this video too. So yeah, check check out NetNinja's playlist on YouTube. Link of, of course is in the blog post in the description. And then once you're done with building APIs, you'll you want to take care of authorization and authentication. Okay, now this is a misconception conception among a lot of people that authorization is pretty much the same thing as authentication, but no, it's not. Authorization is like, okay, fine, checking if a person is already inside your database, while authentication is check, checking up a person and seeing if he actually exists or if he's fake or like, at least with respect to the, like, as long as he has an email ID in most cases. So for these videos would be by David and yeah, David. Yeah, uh, he does a really good job explaining the con complex stuff like JWT involved. I also have a video on JWT. If you don't understand, despite watching that video, you can check it out. It'll be in the description. And as for authentication, you usually do that by mails or by signing into a previous known account. So like for bare bones, you'd want to use email version. So there's something called Node Mailer and Ben Award has, like he makes casual videos. So there's, there's no exact playlist or sequence, but he has a couple of videos and I link a few of them in the blog, check that out. So yeah, Ben Award is my inspiration, I'm just saying. And once you're done at this point, you're like pretty much a web developer. You can call yourself a web developer, a basic web developer. You'll be able to build a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool web apps, maybe not as epic as Net Netflix, but you'll be able to build a lot of cool stuff. And in this point on the front end, you'd want to learn some UI library, like probably uh, React or Svelte. Notice I'm never gonna say Angular because I hate Angular. Uh, I don't know why, but if you like Angular, feel free to learn that. So if you're going by the React way, which I would recommend because like React is a huge ecosystem and like once you learn React, like you pretty much know everything else. So it's like the foundation of UI libraries, I guess, I'm not sure. So yeah, so to learn that, there's this cool playlist, two playlists by Ben Award one with only class components and one with functional components and hooks like only hooks but yeah check it out links down and then uh, we have graphql so graphql is kind of like using sql to directly make an api so like at this point you'll probably be knowing a lot about rest apis because if you don't you won't be able to build backend and if you don't know what an api is you should go back to the basics and do the node.js course by no Node.js thing by NetNinja, the REST API thing. Yeah, so like you don't need to know GraphQL. Like personally, even I don't really know GraphQL. I've used it a very few times, but I don't really know it. You don't really need to know GraphQL to become a web developer. It just makes your life easier. That's it. Pretty much like everything else, like React, every advanced stuff. And then at this point, you'll want to be able to build complex apps that run on the cloud. So like AWS, GCP and all that stuff. So if you want to do that, uh, you should look into the microservices ar ar architecture, which, which has a lot of foundations. Uh, so, but then the problem is you don't have a lot of really good free resources. And like the best resource, this one's paid, but it's on Udemy called Microservices with React and Node. So it's actually really worth it. Uh, that's what I'm currently doing right now. It's amazing. You learn a lot of cool stuff like Docker, Next, JS, uh, Redis, and all. A lot of amazing stuff. Like it's I think 60 hours course, but it's like probably gonna be the the thing that'll make me. Uh, Pro developer, like I should be able to even go to Google and be like, give me a job, I'm kick ass. I'm just kidding. 